Last week's play of the week was the biggest blowout of the entire year thanks to a great goal on the field, but it's not going to be easy going for a potential back-to-back -back run from lacrosse teams. Got another great three nominees starting in Essex. South Burlington's Brady Havers diving to his left and getting up, firing to first. We're going to take a look at this replay. Able to get the runner out. Wolves beat the Hornets to cap off a three and a week. One of the best of the season. Nominee number two, how about Northern Adirondacks? Abby Puria blasts one deep to center field and no fence, no problem. She's still touching them all. And inside the park, home run, a part of a double digit victory for the Bobcats. Final play, take things to the field. Spalding taken on Burlington Crimson time, flipping it, hitting it, and then getting it in the back of the net. Carson Lewis finds Noah Otis. What a move right there. Technical team assists to get that goal. Seahorses get the last laugh, but Crimson Tide can still make a splash in our latest play of the week. So those are the three nominees. Only one can win. Be sure to vote on our website, mynbc5.com. Voting open live right now until Thursday's 8 p.m. deadline. And we're going to reveal the winner that night on the sports.